Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to share a layout that I am creating for my granddaughter's yearly album. I'm dragging my feet a bit on this because it should have been finished at the end of last year and already we're into April. So this is the process for making this page. I'm using the Kayser Craft Party paper range. It's the same paper pad that I've been using throughout the whole album. I go ahead and select some papers from this range that I think I might use on my layout. I start by trimming three papers down to two inches wide by eight inches long. And then I tear one long edge on each of the pattern papers. The next step in preparing the paper for the layout is to ink all of the edges and then attach the papers to the page. I also gave the edges of the paper a bit of um, rough treatment to make them stand up from the page a little more. I've decided to use this paper to mat my photos. So I cut the mats so that they are one quarter of an inch wider and a quarter of an inch deeper than the actual photo, giving me an eighth of an inch border all around. Then I um, distress the edges of both of these, ink them and then attach the photo. To add a little bit of interest to the background, I am splattering with um, Tattered Angel's Dreamsicle uh, Glimmer Mist and Dilusion's Vibrant Turquoise Ink Spray. I attach my photos to some cardboard using some glue just to give them some dimension when I attach them to the layout. Cut some circles from the pattern paper that are the same as the ones that are on the layout already and I plan on putting some foam tape behind those and attaching them over the top of the circles that are on the pattern paper. I wanted to add some embellishments to the top right hand section of the layout so I used the pieces of pattern paper that I'd torn off the previous strips and trimmed them down to a bit shorter so that um, they could be attached to the top of the layout and then the round sticker with the hooray on it will be attached with foam tape on top of those little strips. I'm going to use these stickers that I've had in my stash for I can't remember how long for the title but before I do that I add another black circle to that little cluster up on the top right hand side Um yeah so these stickers I've had for so long I've disposed of the packaging and I don't know what brand they are but I'm going to 
create my title using them. The title is Holiday Fun and I'm putting them on my ruler so that I can decide whether I want to have it at the top or the bottom of the layout. I decide to put them on the bottom. I trim the overhang off of the edge of the page and that completes the page. I hope you've enjoyed this video today and if you have I would really like it if you would subscribe to my channel. If you click the bell icon next to the subscribe button you will be notified each time I record a new video. Thank you for watching.